I went into Target to try on a cute couple of cute things to see what they had for this upcoming spring summer edition and Target didn't miss. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Kim. I'm a personal stylist and style coach and my whole goal is to help you get your style all the way together. So if you're struggling to elevate your personal style, this is the channel for you. So be sure to hit subscribe, hit the like button, and of course hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload my next video. All right, so let's get started. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about this little mini Target haul that I did. I went into Target to try on a cute couple of cute things to see what they had for this upcoming spring summer edition and Target didn't miss. So I've got 17 pieces that I put together in ways that I think one, you would love and two, they come in colorways and size variations from zero up to size 26. So if you're looking for a piece for this upcoming season, this is the video for you. All right, guys, so bear with me. You know I'm still trying to figure out this YouTube thing. I don't know if the picture's gonna be full screen or if it's gonna be over here, which is kind of why I'm squished over here, but I'm gonna figure it out. But first up, I tried on this denim romper. It's dark blue and white pinstripes super cute super flattering i was gonna try on you know the denim jumpsuit the pants jumpsuit that has been all the rage on instagram but i'm like been they've been there they've done that let's get into what spring is bringing and spring is bringing shorts spring is being cute right we don't need the pants right now this romper it's super cute visually for me it doesn't work because the top half of it has way more fabrication in it than the bottom half. And your girl is bottom heavy. She's not top heavy. So this is where understanding your body type comes into play. So when there's a lot of fabric up at the top, it's going to make me look kind of sloppy. I have nothing to fill that in with, right? But I do love how the bottom half of the romper fit me. This is a size six that I'm wearing. It fit well. However, the top half didn't fit well. So the bottom half fit well, but the top half didn't fit well, right? And we need, as far as a romper is concerned, if it doesn't have like a flowy fabric, which this has more of a structured um, material, we need it to fit appropriately. And so for me, this didn't work for me, but depending on your body type, it may work for you. I did like the buttons down um, the zipper area as far as the shorts part, so it made it look like actual shorts versus the buttons at the top. So I like the juxtaposition of how they built that. So they just don't wanna let me live. My phone ran out of storage, but we're back. So we talked about the romper. Next up, we're gonna talk about this tan two-piece set, which is super cute, super comfortable. For those of you who love that word comfortable, you know I love a good two-piece set so that you can mix and match. You can wear the shirt separate from the bottom and the bottom separate from the shirt, right? It has an elasticated paper bag waist so you can bring the waistline up, you can lower the waistline, and you can show as much skin as you wanna show. It's giving casual, it's giving elevated, it's giving everything that the girls need for the springtime and it comes in a couple of colorways too so if you're looking for a cute two-piece skirt set to give you those girly spring vibes this definitely is a set for you i'm currently wearing a size small in this however it does go up to a 4x so we've got plenty of sizes in between for my girls it doesn't matter what size you are and the tan is giving neutral, so it's great to combine with other pieces in your wardrobe and still give you that elevated polished chic look that you guys are looking for. While we're on the cusp of the two-piece set, and you know we live for a good two-piece set, sets are no-brainers, but the key to having a two-piece set is to split them up. So this particular two-piece set has the smocked um, one shoulder, which is giving summer. I love a good shoulder glow. Put some little, some, what is that stuff? Uh, the, the bronzer that you put on your face. I usually put it on my shoulder to give me a little shoulder glow. You can separate the top from the bottom, put the top with a pair of jeans, put them with a pair of trousers, vice versa. Take your bottom and put it with a white top and maybe a denim jacket. 
put on a pair of sneakers or you could put it on with sandals. I love the versatility of the two-piece set. Y'all know I live for a good stripe. The bottom stripe is going to elongate your frame and make you look a little bit longer. Now for my petite girls, because of where this hits, it may not be the perfect length for you if I'm being honest, but if you are of an average height or if you don't care that it's cutting you off across your shin, then girl, go for it. Because the set is cute, it does come in two colors and it goes from extra small all the way up to 4X. So we've got you across all sizes so that you can be cute no matter what your size is. So I am truly trying to live into my girly era and when spring and summer comes, I tend to wear a lot more skirts and dresses. So it's giving girl life. But this particular dress right here, baby. Now on the website, it says it's a midi dress. Midi usually comes like a little bit past your calf. So if you are tall, this probably would be a midi on you. I'm five foot five. It basically hit my ankles. So as far as I'm concerned, this is basically maxi. It's not a full maxi, but it's giving maxi. And the pleats and the fit and flare and the way the waist is snatched, <laughs> baby. The straps are removable, so you can wear it as strapless, or if you wanna have a little dainty strap, you can. The waistband is giving a alternate of the stripes through the dress. The waistband has the horizontal stripes, so it gives a little bit of a juxtaposition between horizontal and vertical, and it's just giving spring. It's giving, I'm going on a, a picnic. It's giving girly vibes, open the door for me. It's got pockets and you know your girl needs some pockets. Y'all, why do we love pockets so much? I don't know, we just do. But this dress is giving. Now I am wearing, what size am I wearing? I am wearing a size six in this dress and I don't have big boobs. So what I will say is you might need the size up to adjust for your boob size just depends on what size you wear. But as far as the waist was concerned, and it has a hidden zipper in the side, so you may need to size up because it was a snug fit. Like your girl was making, like it, it, there was no room to spare when I zipped it up. So you may need to size up and there's no elastic in it. So keep that in mind as well. But I give this dress two thumbs up for sure. All right, next up, we've got some pants. And you know I had to bring in some black because black is always bright, but we only wanna do black in small, small formats because everybody wears black. I'm just telling y'all. I know y'all don't wanna hear that, but it's the truth. If you wanna blend in with the rest, wear all your black. But if you really wanna stand out, start bringing some pops of color into your outfit. But let's get into this particular outfit, which is these parachute pants and this off the shoulder shirt. When you lift up your arms for this off the shoulder shirt, the off the shoulder just pops up onto your shoulders. And I don't know about y'all, but I hate fiddling with my clothes. So although the shirt is giving cute and it's giving like professional-esque, I definitely would not recommend this shirt because of that. But the pants, I think are super cute. They are lightweight. They're giving squishy. I'm gonna let y'all hear the noise. Y'all hear that? That squishy sound is squishying. Just think swish pants from back in the 80s, right? So if you have knock knees like I do, these pants are going to make a lot of noise. Now, if your thighs don't rub together or create sparks and fire, as my father says for me, then you'll be good. For me, these pants are a no-go because of how much noise they make. I don't like them, but the actual fabrication of them, how light they are, how it has the elastic waistband in the back, it has the elastic tie at the bottom so you can make them a straight leg pant or a pulled drawstring pant. I love all of that. So if you don't care about the noise or if you have legs that don't rub together, these pants are definitely a win for you. You could dress them up, you could dress them down, you could put them on with heels, you could put them on with sneakers, you could throw them on with a fancy shirt, you could throw them on with a t-shirt. Like they are a great um, basic piece that's a little bit elevated and still allow you to be that chick when you walk in a room. So summer's coming, time to get those legs out. So that means you guessed it, shorts. So I picked up a couple pairs of shorts, this one and the next one that we're gonna talk about. This one, I picked up the bright yellow version of these shorts. I actually already had the Kelly green version from last year. Absolutely love them. 
anybody who follows me on Instagram knows that I went through a Kelly Green phase. And if you're not following me on Instagram, please be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at She Cleans Up Nicely. But these yellow shorts, they are a heavier weighted material. They do not have elastic in the back, so they are fitted all the way around. Um, they do flow away from the body. So a quick tip for my girls who are part of the Thunder Thigh Committee, and I am part of that committee. If you get shorts that flow away from your body, it will help to make your legs look smaller than they actually are. So just a quick tip for my girls out there whose thighs may be a little bit bigger than my other girls out there. But this bright yellow is perfect for spring. These shorts come in a couple of different colors. I think there's like eight colorways. Go check them out. Um, I might also list them up here for you. And then I paired it with this light blue kind of uh, denim-esque. It's not really denim. It really is light blue button down collared long sleeve shirt. So it has more of a boxy feel. It's not cropped. Um, it fits it hits perfectly at like your waistline. So it's perfect for you if you want that kind of relaxed um, look in a shirt and you don't want to have something that's really form fitting. You're looking for that more casual, easy breezy type of vibe. Perfect to pair with jeans, perfect to pair with shorts, perfect to pair with a pair of trousers. You know, trousers are trending right now. You could dress it up. You could dress it down you could wear it with you could wear it with heels you could wear it with sneakers like perfect basic essential piece to add into your wardrobe and be able to pair it with multiple pieces in your wardrobe to get uber amounts of looks out of and we love a piece that you can wear multiple ways to get all your money's worth baby all of it so if you're looking for a versatile piece, this is definitely one of them. The yellow shorts, not so much, but they are shouting spring. They are saying, I have arrived. They are saying, I am bold, I am bright, I am beautiful. I, the ray of sunshine has walked into your life. <laughs> so if you're looking to make a statement, the shorts are definitely your statement piece. And the top is definitely a piece that will allow you to get multiple uses out of everything that you wear it with. Okay, last but not least, I have to say this was probably one of my favorites out of all of the pieces that I tried on. I think if I had to do favorites, I would do the dress, the long midi white and blue striped dress. I would do the two piece tan um, midi skirt set and then I would do this short set right here. This short set is giving trend it's giving 2024 it's giving i have arrived like it is doing all of the things so if you want to be on trend best suiting in general is currently trending so we're moving into the warmer months so now they're taking it from the three-piece pantsuit into the three-piece um short suit this has an accompanying blazer and the matching pants so if you prefer pants over shorts they do have the pants I just tried on the shorts and the vest and baby like this the vest was snatching like it's giving waistline right I did size down to an extra small and I opened up the two top buttons so that it kind of stopped pulling to give me that more fitted look that I was looking to achieve with the shorts that are kind of flaring out. So we've got fitted on the top and a little bit of flare out on the bottom. So we're not doing tight on tight, but we are doing a monochrome look. Now again, it is a set. So remember, break up your sets. You can wear this vest with pants. You can wear this vest with, um, with denim. You can wear this vest with other things other than just wearing it with these shorts. And of course, you can pair these shorts with a multitude of things. Y'all know how to wear shorts. I'm not going to get into that, but you could dress it up. You could dress it down. Again, suiting is 100% on trend from last season coming into the spring season 2024. If you want to try out this trend and you don't want to spend a lot of money because suits can be a lot of money, this is a great way to try the trend at a low cost point. Like this is what I teach my clients. If you're going to start, if you're going to bring a trend in, something that you're not 100% sure about, be sure to try it out at a lower cost point because then if you don't like it, it's not like you blew the bag, right? So this is a great way to try this trend at a low cost point and see if it actually works for you. And then if it does, you can go spend a little bit more money to get a higher quality product. Not to say that this is a bad quality product. However, it is not the best quality. I mean, we are at Target. Let's just keep it 100. But 
With that being said, I really like this suit. I like this two-piece suit and I think I didn't buy it, but I think I might go back and get it. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking about it. So I completely forgot that I tried on a few pairs of shoes. It's two pairs of shoes that I tried on. So one is a cute neutral sandal that you could put on with anything. This shoe is a great heel height. It's a wedge, a slight wedge. I think it's like what, one inch or so, maybe an inch and a half, not too high. Perfect to wear with jeans. You could put it on with a cute two-piece skirt set. It's a good neutral that allows you to incorporate these shoes with a lot of pieces in your wardrobe and get a lot of use out of them. The only thing that I didn't like about them is that the crisscross strap that goes across your ankle, it is a fix. So it does not move. You can't adjust it. Outside of that, I really like these shoes. I will say that I felt like they ran a half a size small, both of the shoes that I tried on. So I went down to a seven and a half. I'm normally an eight, but outside of that super cute shoe. Let's hit the next shoe. So this shoe is a complete opposite, right? It's black. It's got a design on the heel and on the wedge. Now, for those of you who don't know, yes, it is a pretty high heel. It's a four inch heel, but the wedge will compensate for the amount of height that's in the heel. So if you have a four inch heel and a two inch wedge, you take the two inches off the four inches and you're really only walking on two inches, which is why a platform shoe will be better for you as far as like if you have a lot of pressure on the balls of your feet for you to walk on. Um, and it's a lot more stable with the black heel. I love a good shoe that makes a statement. This particular shoe you could wear with a lot of things. It's super comfortable to walk in. I do walk in a lot of heels, but I do say these particular shoes on point. I absolutely love them. They'll make a statement. You can wear them with a monochrome outfit. You can use them as the statement part of your outfit. You could wear them with blue jeans and a white t-shirt. Like you could do the most, you could do the least, and you're still gonna be cute and comfortable. And if for your short and for my shorty girls, they're gonna give you the height that you need. If you don't care about height, I'm five foot five. I still wear a four inch heel and it makes me taller than my husband. It is what it is. You gotta be able to live in who you are and own your looks and your fits. So let me know in the comments if you would prefer a smaller wedge or a higher um, block heel. Either one are gonna give you a good stability. It's just about what type of shoe do you like. All right, ladies, that is everything. So what did you think? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you get notified next time I upload a video. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye. If you want to start, if breathe, Cam.